I'm Stephen Sturm. I'm a metrologist and principal physicist for ABB and have been so for about 4.1 years. I'm here to talk a little bit about what I would typically call was standardizing. The question that I had been asked was, what is it, does it mean when we standardize our sensors? And I'm here to say that, tell you that it's a little different than that. What we are doing is we're measuring the performance of our sensors. And to do that, we, we have a special, a special way to do it. For instance, if you've been born in America, that means that you've taken tests before and you've seen the results from it as a student. And this is exactly the way this, this, this works as well. All of our sensors see the same test in the same way that if you were in school, everybody would take the same test. And that's exactly what we do here. That is called a standardized test. The test is the same every time. The test is the same every time, and that's what's different than what most people think about. I should also say that the tests that we're doing are in fact linked to our standard standards, primary and secondary standards, that are used to calibrate all of our sensors. So let me explain how that works as a sequence of events if I can. First of all, we get a system that has, that has these on it. They've been calibrated from the, from the factory and they're sent out to a, a, a client. The client gets it and then we also, he gets a secondary standards. The client takes the secondary standards and checks every one of the sensors to make sure they're still calibrated properly. If they're not calibrated properly, of course, he knows that it needs to be repaired. But most of the times, of course, if on a new one, it's going to have no problems. It will, it will come up the first time. But what we do when we measure it that first time, we run a test on it and we get all the data from it because we know those sensors are all in good shape because we've, test, we've tested them and we've looked at them with, with standards. And then after we have done that, that data is, is saved. And after that, the same test will go on afterwards, but it will all be aut automated. The automated tests will hap happen every 30 minutes or every hour. You can set it up to whatever you want. And what it's doing is testing the sensors to make sure that they're still as good as it was when it was set up with the standards. So that happens every, every 30 minutes. So the test, the results of the test, come out the same way the results of a test would come out if you were in school. You pass or you fail. That's maybe a little oversaid. So maybe you get an A plus or maybe you get a C or maybe you get an F. So there's a range of possibilities that the sensor may be a little bit off, which is maybe it will give him an A for that. On the other hand, maybe we'll see that it's not working very well at all and it gets a D minus. And if that happens, we inform, inform the, the operators that there's a problem and it needs to be fixed. If it's only slightly off, we'll automatically correct it. As I said, I really don't want any bad sensors because that can cost our clients a lot of money. So the way we tell this is we look at the data that was taken when we know the sensors were exactly right on. We compare that to the tests that we're doing periodically. If we see that there's some deviation, then we know that we might have, a, we'll, we'll watch it because we might have a a sensor getting bad. It may just be very early or it may just be some fluke and if it's a small enough change it will be already corrected. So the tests are periodic. You can select the time, the time that you, the, any time you want but I just want to make it clear that we're not standardizing sensors. That would mean that every sensor was the same. That's, every sensor is very different. It's not the same. If it was standardized, it would be the same, much like the people that are, that are in school. They may be right on and get an A plus, or they may have a B minus, and maybe that means that they need a little bit of a correction. 
in the same way that we correct. Or it might be a failing, and in which case you need to stop and get it repaired. I would be glad to listen to any questions that anybody has on that. They can catch me here at uh, ABB in Westerville, and I'll be around for a while. Thank you very much for listening.